Every day we're exposed to millions of germs, but our immune system keeps them at bay and protects us from infection and disease. White blood cells form an important part of the immune system. Different types work together to seek out and destroy germs that invade the body. Amongst them, the role of plasma cells is to produce antibodies that specifically tag themselves to that germ. Tagged germs attract other white blood cells. Their role is to destroy and remove the germ. To recognize all possible types of germs, different plasma cells make different antibodies. By deliberately rearranging specific segments of their DNA, each plasma cell makes a unique set of antibodies that only targets one type of germ. Myeloma is a cancer of the plasma cells. Plasma cells can become cancerous when abnormalities occur in their genetic material. One example happens during the antibody-making process when the DNA is being rearranged. Most have little effect, but some may cause the plasma cell to multiply out of control. Some abnormalities affect the structures in which DNA is packaged. These are called chromosomes. Each cell contains 46 chromosomes arranged in pairs numbered from 1 to 23. In myeloma, chromosomes can be affected in a number of ways. Some involve the switching of genetic material between different pairs of chromosomes. For example, there may be an exchange between chromosome 11 and chromosome 14. This is known as the T1114 translocation. Others involve part of the chromosome breaking off. This is known as a deletion. Or they may gain an extra piece of chromosome. Some pairs even gain a whole chromosome. This is common in myeloma and is known as hyperdiploidy. Other abnormalities affect the DNA sequence of a gene, therefore altering the genetic instructions it carries. This type of abnormality is known as a point mutation and can happen during a person's lifetime or it can be inherited from our parents. Most point mutations are harmless and in fact many we inherit determine our individual characteristics, such as what colour eyes we have or how tall or short we are. However, some genes we inherit may increase our risk of developing certain health problems, including cancer. Mutations we accumulate over our lifetime are more likely to cause myeloma, while those we inherit tend to increase the risk. Identifying the genetic abnormalities in each patient is useful because they can help predict the outcome of treatment.